Hello, this is just a quick video on uh, how to add predecessors to your existing uh, Microsoft project file. So basically this is the template that comes with the week three files. And all that it's saying is on the left side, these are the project tasks. And then on the right side is their predecessors. So for example, for develop project charter, uh, this has to happen first. Okay, this side, well, can't highlight right now, but so, for this to happen, this to happen first. So it's like a prerequisite, technically, that's what a predecessor is. So if we go to, for example, uh, Microsoft Project File, and let's see. If you don't have a predecessor file, uh, column, so like for example, let me just delete this. So you have this right now, and there is no predecessor column. All you have to do is uh, click on Add New Column, or if you want to squeeze it somewhere, anywhere, you can just basically right click, and then say Insert Column, and then type the name of the column, and then there it is, so I hit enter, and now we have predecessors. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna expand on initiating. Again, this is not a full uh, project file, because as you can see, I don't have planning in here. But uh, in initiating, it says the develop, the develop project charter uh, has a predecessor of finalized project team. So the way to add it is basically go to your predecessor column in the right uh, task line, Click on it, you're gonna get a pull down menu. If you click on it, you're gonna get the, all the list of all the tasks that you have currently in your project. And since I want finalized project team to be my predecessor, I just click on it and then I escape out of it. And now this is set up as my predecessor. Okay. And some project, uh, some tasks have multiple predecessors like this one, for example, this has one, two, three, predecessors, this has one, two. So the way to add multiple predecessors is, again, this is not the right place to do it, but just as an example, uh, just like I clicked on box number three, you can click on box seven, you can go on box 11, you know, and then just escape out of it. And then now you have all of them listed. Okay, so that's just as simple as that. And uh, that's how easy it is to add predecessors. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just uh, please do let me know. I'll be more than happy to make more videos for you guys. Thank you so much. Take care.